Okay, this is our uh, this is our uh, third installment on my review of the uh, Logitech uh, Quick Cam Pro 9000, and uh, it's been up for four days. I still have an excellent picture, great clarity, and all that good stuff. So what I've decided to do here is I'm going to go through my pros, cons, and pretty much what I'd like to see. Uh, Logitech put into this particular camera in the future. Uh, first off, we'll start with uh, the pros. Um, very easy to set up as long as you follow the instructions. Uh, number two, great optics. This Carl Ziss uh, optics is just, it's just, uh, it's really good stuff. Uh, the third thing would be uh, the right light technology, uh, which uh, right now I don't have it turned on because I don't want everything in the background to be lit up. Okay. Which, and the, uh, the next, uh, my next pro about this particular cam would be the uh, smooth video performance. Uh, it's very, uh, very good. I've, uh, last time I had a webcam was a Logitech camera about nine years ago, and it was really, uh, really not very good at all. So anyway, we move on to the wild, wide uh, field of view, which uh, it, it's a good thing, and on the other hand, it can be kind of bad. Like right now, you see a lot of stuff in the background, which I really don't, really don't want in my video, but it's there, so I'll have to, I'll figure out a way to get around that later on. Um, face tracking is another positive thing that uh, I don't use too much, but uh, it is a good feature that uh, is available if you want to use it. Uh, the next thing I want to get into be the cons, and this camera's got a big con. As far as I'm concerned, uh, and that would be the microphone. I've been dealing with that for four days. I make a lot of adjustments. And to be quite honest with you, it almost sounds like I'm talking, I'm talking 20 feet away when in fact, I am sitting approximately a foot, a foot and a half away from the microphone, which is on the top of my monitor. So I'm not real happy with that feature at all. I would like to see, uh, uh, see him make a, strides in trying to improve that feature on the camera since uh, it's, it's pretty expensive. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the next thing. The poor mounting for the camera itself. Uh, I'm just afraid someday or somebody will come in and knock it off. Um, it just it just pretty much just sits up here on the top of my monitor. I'm using a Westinghouse 19-inch uh, flat panel. So i like to see him come up with a better way uh, for us to actually have the camera stick stick to your monitor. Okay, my next, my last and final items. I'd like to see them fix the sound. I'd like to see them go stereo, with maybe even a possibility of going Dolby. Uh, Sony uses a uh, an item that they call Dolby Digital Stereo Creator, which on my uh, on my handy cam really sounds excellent, really does, uh, and. Uh, Besides them adding an extra mic, or yeah, an extra mic to the camera, I like to see them uh, maybe even uh, make the camera Wi-Fi compatible, which would really be cool. I and mean, then you could lose that six-foot cord and push your camera anywhere within like uh, I'm not really sure what the footage is. I think in some cases Wi-Fi is uh, good up to like a thousand feet, so that would really be nice. Uh, uh, I think this camera is good enough that you could use it around the house for security purposes. Um, other than that, um, I'm pretty happy with it.